we're building an automated cloud flow. And our flow trigger is going to be this one right here when a new response is submitted, Microsoft Forms. So let's go ahead and create. Now, as I mentioned, you're already gonna need to have your form created, and then you can select that form from the form ID list here. So I'm gonna choose my form. Now, the next thing that we need is another forms action. So if we just search forms, there's only one action, which is this one here, get response details. And now we're going to once again, select our form, and we're going to add our response ID, which is going to be the dynamic content of our trigger, the only one, which is response ID. Now we can add another step. Our new step is going to be a Salesforce connector. So we search Salesforce and we can select the connector and then we can search for create record. And now the object type is going to be cases. So we can search cases and select it. And once we select that, give it a minute there. All right, now, now we can fill in all of the details here. So depending on what kind of things, details you are collecting from your forms, you can add them into your case here. So we're gonna just add in a few different things. Um, I'm gonna add in a case status of new. We can also add in our um, case origin. I'm gonna select my department and then the case summary. So for this, what we can do is add in some response details from our dynamic content. So for this one, I'm just going to go ahead and put a, uh, for the summary, I'm going to put in the description of the request, that field from my form. We're going to find a field called case details. And there's so many fields in our instance of Salesforce for cases. So it's going to take a little bit of digging. But here it is right here, case details. So I can actually add um, those same um, description here. And then the other thing I'm gonna do is put some text here. So this will be um, request details. And then I can also add underneath this project deadline. And I can select, provide a deadline for your project from the dynamic content. And then I can also put here request or. And that's going to be uh, the email of the person requesting. Let's actually change this to request your email. And we'll also have. name. And the last thing that we're going to do is we're going to make sure that this case gets assigned to us. So in order to do that, you're going to need to fill in the case owner ID field. So if we go back up to the top, you're going to see this field right here, case owner ID. I want to make sure that this gets auto assigned to me anytime someone submits this form. So it doesn't just end up in a queue where someone else has to assign it to me after the form has been submitted. So for that, we're going to have to go over to Salesforce. Here is the department contact that I want to, I want our case to be automatically assigned to. So this is the ID from the URL for the contact that I need. So we actually go back to our flow and we actually need to insert one more step in order to get that training contact record ID. So we're gonna add an action 
and it's going to be another Salesforce connector um, get record action. So we get record, this one here, and then the objects is going to be contacts. And then the record ID is going to be what we copied from the URL for our department contact. So now that we have that in there, we can use the dynamic content of this action here down in our case owner ID. So if we select here, we see the dynamic content of this action, the dynamic content of the previous action there. And what we're looking for here is owner ID. So let's see if we search here, we get contact owner ID. We can add that in there. Now this case is going to be automatically assigned to us anytime that that um, request form is submitted. So with these basic details here, we have a starting point where we can um, refine it over time. Um, but really, this is the this is just to get us started so that you know, we can already now save this and run it and have a case created for us when this when the form is submitted and then we can test it out and see how we can modify it and improve on it so let's go ahead and test So to test our form, we're actually going to need to go over to forms. So we can click here and we can open forms. We can grab our form from our list here. We can go preview and we can fill it out. So I need this project and the deadline is tomorrow and my name. So let's go ahead and submit that. There we go. So our flow ran successfully. So now we can hop over to Salesforce and look at the case. Okay, so here's our case. And we can see that it successfully created the case. It assigned it to us as case owner. And if we scroll down a bit, we can see under the summary details, here's the summary, here's the details, request details, the deadline and the requester name and the requester email. So it captured everything that we wanted it to. So now we can build this out further and add in more details. We can build out our form further so that we can capture more details. Well, that's gonna do it for this video. Thanks everyone for watching. I hope you found this helpful. And as always, we will see you in the next video. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.